Alright, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, today it was Ghana Black Stars 3, then South Korea 2. And Ghana, we've gotten three points in the group. This evening, just this evening, before I recorded this video, Portugal has also beaten Uruguay by two goals to nil. This means that Portugal have already qualified with six points. And Ghana, we have three points. Um, South Korea has one and Uruguay also has one. So I'm um, going to meet things are going to be very very tough in the final stage. Yes, Ghana, we need to beat or at least pick a draw against Uruguay. Then we don't know how um South Korea versus Portugal will go. That one we will not really think about that. So yes, that is it. So Ghana versus Uruguay on the second December. We have a lot that we'll talk about it. So just stick and stay with me. Now today, Mohamed Kuru scored two goals brace for the Black Stars of Ghana. He was also nominated as the man of the match. One player has spoken about him. Uh, he actually expressed something. He reacted to Kuru's super performance. That is Inyaki. Um, that is um, Edin Ketia. Yes, Edin Ketia reacted to him. In fact, Inyaki with them has spoken. I brought you an update already. So that is why I almost mentioned his name. So Edin Ketia, the striker for us now reacted to Mohamed Kudu's super performance today. We will talk about it here on this channel. Then Mohamed Kudu's to join Liverpool is on. Yes, it is on. So we will also talk about it on this channel. Then one teammate of Ayas, Calvin Baste, he's a Nigerian. He has also said something to Kudu's. We will check it out here on this channel. So a whole lot of things are going on. But before you begin the video, can you drop us a like after that? You smash on the subscribe button, you put on the bell for more updates on this channel. For now, this is how Mohamed Kudu's agent is reacting. You have uh, three or four phones. What messages have you been receiving? I haven't, I haven't even read them because uh, they, they, they keep on coming. They keep on coming. I think that uh, I have to I have to turn one of the phone off. You haven't read any of them? Messages? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Look, look, they, 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 they still call it. They still call it. <laughs> Phones are calling. All right, so yes, that was just by the way. So Kudus Agents is now saying that Charlie, the calls are coming in left, right, centre. Because confirmed now is that um, Liverpool has also joined the race to sign Mohamed Kudus from Ayas. Yes, last season Kudus wanted to leave Ayas to join Everton. We know that clubs like Everton, Borussia Mönchengladbach, Borussia Dortmund, the whole lot of clubs came in for Kudus, but the club which was really serious was Everton. But eventually, the player stayed as ever. Um, that is um, Ayas because, according to my verity, the club Ayas did not want to sell Kudus as of that time. But today, he came out to confirm that Kudus Mohamed Liverpool has also joined the race. Liverpool was all times monitoring the player after he went to score them that super goal at Anfield. They were really monitoring him. This season, his performance has been super. Scoring three goals in UEFA Champions League, winning man of the match awards in there. The VC is scoring left, right, center about nine goals in competitions. And the national team too, he is firing from all angles or so, um, all cylinders. Tells you that yes, the player is on hot form. So today, according to my verage, Liverpool have also joined the race to sign Mohamed Kudus. But now, Kudus will be around 100 million um, um, euros if you want to sign him. So, Liverpool, it's up to you. You should be ready to pay that amount of money for our superstar. Yes. So, that is also an update coming in from there. Now, before we go to Edin Ketia's own today, one teammate from Ayas. His name is Calvin Bassi. He plays um, for Ayas. He actually is from Nigeria. Today, he has some words to tell Kudus after Kudus stupendous performance against South Korea. Let's listen to Calvin Basse. Crazy, right? Star boy. He's on fire, he's on fire. Crazy, right? I'm happy for you, though. He's on all right, so that is also from Calvin Basse. Yes, Kudus won the man of the match and he's trending everywhere. Yes, everywhere. Now, Arsenal striker Edin Ketia, that a lot of Ghanaians were expecting him to switch society to join the Black Stars of Ghana. Um, yes, according to multiple reports, the player decided not to switch again. He wasn't called 
to join the English national team. He's here to even play for them. With, with the junior side, he has set a record in their scoring. 17 goals in 16 matches for the under 21 side. And the man actually visited Ghana or the boy visited Ghana about a week ago. Of which I brought you an update on this channel. And today he was actually watching Mohamed Kudus play for the Black Stars of Ghana. In fact, he has been following Ghana Ghana's um stories and everything. If you go to his Twitter um you know account, you see that he has been liking things about Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Yes, so when he was watching the game and Kudus scored that second goal, then he just tweeted Kudus. Then he added the um you know is it freeze emojis or something? I don't know guys what is it is it some something like you are freezed or something he added those emojis in there to tell you that yes the guy they feel cool so and then people were saying that come and play for Ghana you don't want to come come and play for Ghana you are just sitting there have you seen that you are not enjoying our game someone said you should come and replace um you know the number nine that we have right now a whole lot of things so people are really talking about it in Ketia just commenting kudus with their um you know chill chilling or freezing emojis people are like come on come and play for the black stars of ghana don't sit there and just be i'm <laughs> um, talking like that switch society and join because you have Tarek lamte who has switched and he's now playing in has also switch he's now playing um some other players yes even though some did not go to the world cup but teddy would have probably been at the world cup if he switched nationality the same as Callum hosnodoy he is also not switching he is now according to him he's focusing on the english national team so let's wait and see how things will go so now kudos to liverpool is on calvin Bassi also reacted edin ketia reacted and more on this channel don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates here on this channel this was skinny tv and of course we shall meet later <laughs>